Hello and welcome to a new episode of Microscopy. This video is going to be on how to set up and use the stereoscopic binocular microscopes for specimen examination, also known simply as the stereo microscope or stereo zoom microscope or even the stereo dissecting microscope, the stereoscopic binocular microscope, despite how complex it sounds, is basically a slightly more advanced and sophisticated modification of the simple dissecting microscope, which I've covered in a previous video. You can click on the link in the top right corner of the screen or the link in the description below to watch that video. The stereo microscope is widely used for surface examination and study of organisms, electronic components, rocks and minerals, etc. It's also commonly used to assist in the dissection of minute parts of organisms that do not require extremely high magnification but are at the same time too small to be done with the unaided eyes. The stereo microscope consists of the binocular eyepieces, objective lenses, a stage and light source from above and below the stage, all housed in a sturdy metallic body. Once you remove the stereo microscope from its box, bring it to the working table by holding it with both hands, one hand firmly holding the arm of the microscope and the other hand supporting the base of the microscope like so. Safely position the microscope on the table and make sure that the base of the microscope is at least 3 inches away from the edge of the working table. Clean the eyepiece lenses and the stage with lens cloth or lens paper. To use the stereo microscope, first turn on either the top or bottom light source. Position both eyes right in front of the eyepieces and then adjust the eyepiece distance relative to the distance between the left and right eye. Continue pulling apart or converging the eyepieces until the two circular fields of view seen by both eyes converge to appear as a single larger stereoscopic field of view. Just as in the compound binocular light microscope, it takes a bit of time and practice getting used to viewing through the microscope with both eyes open and clearly seeing a singular field of view. Now, place the specimen on the stage and if required, secure the specimen with the stage clips provided. If the specimen is of a transparent type that requires transmitted light to view through it, then turn on only the light source located below the stage. Also use the frosted glass provided for the stage platform. If the specimen is intended for surface examination, then turn on only the light source located above the stage and projected towards the specimen. You may use either side of the opaque stage plate depending on what color background is required. The frosted glass stage plate can also be used. Depending on the level of complexity and sophistication of the stereo microscope, the top light source may come as a separate unit powered externally and consisting of flexible, adjustable snake tubes with the light source located at the very end of the tubes and whose brightness and intensity can be adjusted as per one's requirement, like you see here. Nevertheless, the basic function of the top lighting system is the same and is projected towards the specimen surface. Now, select the objective lens required for examining the specimen. In a stereo microscope, unlike in a compound light microscope, the objective lenses are collectively housed within a broad cylindrical tube that has the objective magnifications engraved on it. The tube is rotated until the required magnification clicks into position. In this particular model that I am using for this video, the built-in objective magnifications are 1x and 3x. So. If the eyepiece lens is a 10x and I use a 2x objective, then my specimen would be magnified 20 times and so on. In this way, a typical serial microscope, depending on the model and the optics combination, one can magnify objects within a range of about 10 times all the way up to about 120 times or even 150 times. Now, before actually beginning to examine the specimen, you'll need to make sure that the focus of both eyepieces are aligned with respect to the powers of both the viewer's eyes. Just as in the binocular light microscope that I've covered in a previous episode, the ocular tube of one of the eyepieces in a stereo microscope, usually the left eyepiece, can be rotated to adjust its focus. To focus align both eyepieces, first cover the left eye and look into the right eyepiece with the right eye. Then carefully rotate the focus adjustment knob until the specimen is in focus. Once you have the specimen in focus through the right eyepiece, cover the right eye and then look through the left eyepiece using the left eye. Without readjusting the focus adjustment knob that had been already set for the right eye, 
Adjust the focus of the left eyepiece by rotating the eyepiece tube clockwise and or counterclockwise until the specimen comes into clear focus. Now open both eyes and look through the binocular eyepieces one more time. If you see that the object in the view is evenly focused without causing any unequal focusing strain in either of the two eyes, then the eyepieces can be said to have been focus aligned. Now, once the eyepiece distance have been fixed and focus aligned, the objective magnification selected and the specimen placed on the stage, turn the focus adjustment knob clockwise and counterclockwise until the specimen comes into clear focus. Observe and study the specimen. Higher models of stereo microscopes also usually come equipped with digital cameras that can be connected to a computer and are capable of taking photos or recording live videos of the specimen being examined. This particular model that I have here also came with a 2 megapixel eyepiece USB camera with the necessary software that can be installed on a computer and used for capturing visual data of the specimen. You can check out my previous video on how the camera is set up and used in this microscope. Just click on the link given in the top right corner of the screen or the link in the description below. When you're done using the microscope, remove the specimen from the stage, clean the eyepieces, the stage and the body of the microscope using a clean lens cloth or paper. Lower the body tube of the microscope to its maximum by turning the adjustment screw. Finally, either cover the microscope with its cover or return it back to its designated box. So this was all about the basics of how a typical stereo microscope is operated and used. If you found this video helpful, do show your support for what I'm doing by considering subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications to stay tuned for more such content. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.